Well, that's actually kind of super effective on us, but eh. We'll just kill the Wormpole and then bail it mess. Or we could just attack the Pachirisu real quick. Hmm. Oh, it's not very effective. Never mind. We'll just take down there. Well, that's just rude. Why would you do that? Oh, that's why. I get it. <laughs> to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. My name is Hector Camille here in episode 7, and in the last episode we were able to get through the Valley Windworks, save the man who is the father of the little girl, and be able to drive out Team Galactic and Mars specifically. So um, if you are interested in seeing what's going to happen next, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and you'll be catch every single episode of not only this series, but every other series on the channel as they come out. And if you want to see these videos before they come out as videos, go check out the live series that we are doing because all of these videos are just segmented portions of all of the live streams and you will be able to see all of that. You might be able to interact if you go catch them live, but if you are interested in that, go ahead and watch the VODs and watch the live streams. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of this video. All right, so let's go back and heal. And we will continue on our quest to find some encounters and go th th towards Eterna. Um, we are definitely uh, already a decent chunk into the stream, which is nice. And uh, it, 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 I'm having fun. I, I love it. these. I love playing Pokemon. I love just being able to play through a Pokemon game and just, you know, explore everywhere and have a ton of fun. I like it. It's great. I really wish that I the one one di one uh, regret I have with this channel is that I didn't start it early enough to to uh, be able to have recorded my first playthrough of uh, Sword and Shield because I blew through that game. It was ridiculous how how often I was playing that game and how and just you know how how deep into that game I got. It was just I just had so much fun with that game. Um, and it would have been great to be able to uh, have that on the channel because it was it was a ton of fun. Um, there was some there were some very fun moments in there. Um, but you know, moving forward, I, I will always have that on the channel, and that's something I really enjoy is you know being able to have that recorded and uh, possibly shared with other people. It's a really nice uh, thing about having the Pokemon channel or the, the YouTube channel is that you know. You get you get to to record all of your memories playing these games, and uh, you can go back and watch them, and other people can you know watch them and share in them, and it's much more of like a community type of thing rather than just sitting in your bedroom alone playing this game until three in the morning. Which, granted, it's partially that anyway, considering I'm in a bedroom alone at uh, eleven in the morning <laughs> playing this game. <laughs> but you you know what I mean. Um, I would I would definitely be talking a lot less if I were playing this not recording. Um, and there wouldn't be as many moments to have fun, silly, silly things go on, like accidentally killing a Shinx or uh, making jokes about uh, people being too close and all that. Or, you know, making jokes about uh, naming my Mew Mewtwo. Uh, pluck will work well. I just realized that it kind of said those words in the in the form of like singing to the music and I, I don't know if that was intentional or not <laughs> Aiden welcome back no worries um, we were just uh, continuing on towards Eterna we got through the Valley Windworks and all that um, had not too difficult of a time probably gave us a little bit of trouble until we used uh, charm and partially lower lowered its attack and then it was a piece of cake um, but other than that um, oh yeah I don't know if you were here but we got both a Jirachi and a Mew so, uh, th that, that's something that happened. <laughs> it was kind of nuts. Um, we also, uh, just, uh, got to slather some honey on a tree. I don't know. We haven't done all that much. Um, I, we're kind of just, uh, exploring around the, the area. 
Um, by the way, I believe you mentioned last stream you have a fiance, and if I am not mistaken, congratulations. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, I, um, we actually got uh, engaged uh, at the beginning of October. Uh, so uh, we were, um, we've been dating since um, we were both in high school, so it's been a long time coming, and uh, we're really excited. We're, we're in the middle of planning the wedding now. So thank you so much for your congratulations, and uh, yeah. Uh, it, it happened fairly recently, so if you see any references to my girlfriend in previous videos, if you ever go back and watch some, um, it's the same person. <laughs> it's just a recent, recent uh, development. But yeah, um, let's continue on towards... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess we'll just keep going on and try and get ourselves some more encounters and such. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be any options to, because... It's looking like we're getting all of the mon- we've already gotten all of the mons, uh, that we, we could possibly get from this encounter table. Um, yeah, I remember you posted it on Twitter. Yes, I did! It, um, I was, uh, very happy to be able to, uh, share that. Um, it, it was a- it was a fun- it was a fun day, and, uh, that's cute. Happy for you, too. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you, both of you. Um, I replied to the tweet a long time ago, I think. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Um, yeah, I think you gave- you, uh, gave congratulations, and I appreciated that. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a fun it was a fun fun day. Uh, we ended up going. Um, I don't know if I've told the story, but we went uh, apple picking, and uh, one of her college friends was there with us, and we were going apple picking. And um, they had planned it like the day before or something like that. And I just I originally was trying to go to a different place, uh, like a, a basically like a, a lake or something to to like go on a walk, and we would do it there. Um, but she really wanted to go apple picking with her friend, so I just contacted attacked her friend and was like, Hey, uh, would you be okay if I, uh, proposed while I w we were there? And also, possibly take pictures, and she was like, Absolutely, that's awesome. And so, it ended up working out really well. But yeah, it was a fun day. We got a bunch of apples, it was very tasty. I got a fiancé out of it, and, you know, also got some, uh, peach cider. Um, some, some spiked peach cider, which was really interesting. Um, and it basically just tasted like champagne, but, you know. <laughs> uh, let's go into Oscar P for this. Um, one thing about this I don't like is that they, uh, that it's, it's kind of hard to tell. I guess it's not that hard. It's just hard for me because I'm not very smart, but it's hard to tell whether I'm on the left or right side. And the, um, analog stick kind of makes it confusing. But, um, let's see, Jason said, uh, oh, that's wholesome. Yeah, yeah, it was a wholesome day. Um, it, it was, it was just a fun time. Um, it was very funny because, uh, when I got, actually got down and proposed, uh, on one knee, she started walking away because she didn't, she didn't notice that I did. So, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's pictures from the day and it, it, there's a, a good, like, four or five pictures where you just see her getting farther and farther away as she's walking away from me. <laughs> and then she turns around and... And uh, obviously said yes, but uh, it, it's very funny. It, it's totally us too, because <laughs> that's the type of thing that would just happen to us. All right, um, let's take down this Shinx. Do we have? Did we? Oh, we've been lowering its accuracy with Mudslap, right? I was wondering why it missed. Uh, yeah, Jason, it was very funny. Um, uh, she just, she just, like, she, it's, it's impressive how far she got away from me before she realized, um, it was, <laughs> it was just like, it, like, she was, it was almost, uh, it was almost far enough away that you couldn't get both of us in the picture at the same time. <laughs> um, Pachirisu, we'll stay in. We'll use some more mud slaps. Um, yeah, I would... Uh, Getting back to the Pokemon, though, I was wondering why Leer missed. I'm like, that's 100% accuracy move. What the heck's going on? Did we have, like, some sort of... Our, our ability isn't... is sticky hold. It's not exactly causing accuracy drop. But then I realized we've been using Mudslap. So it makes sense. I would love to get uh, Earthquake. I love uh, Earthquake. It kind of sucks that, that uh, Ground-type moves, it's basically, like... Either either a really weak move like Mud Shot or Mud Slap or something like that, and then there's nothing in between until you get to like Earthquake and Earth Power. Like there's there's no like 60 base power move that you can teach it when it's level 20. It's only using um, you know base 20 to 40 moves until you get to 
level 40 and it's and it finally learns earthquake or earth power or you're just stuck with dig because you used a tm on it Doo -doo. This is taking a while. Is this not super fast? It is. Um, we're at almost out of mudslaps. That's ridiculous. I guess we'll use water gun. Oh, it's been using charm, hasn't it? That's probably why. It probably lowered our uh, attack. Oh yeah, charm and growl. <laughs> it's definitely lowering our attack a bunch. That's why. I was wondering why it wasn't doing anything, but I felt it. I've only been paying half attention, so there's that. All right, good stuff. Are we done? We are perfect. Take that, Sienna. I'm shocked. How did I lose? Who knows? All right. So we're all set there. Oh, um, I meant to plant these berries back. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if any of you missed this, but uh, uh, my plans have been to basically plant a berry wherever we found a berry so that we're constantly gaining berries. And I don't, Unlike in um, the Nuzlocke, where it doesn't matter because I'm never going to go back and get berries, in this it actually does kind of matter because we can just uh, come back the next day and grab more berries. It would be great. We're going to go back and heal, and then we'll come continue on our way. Alright. So we're all healing up. It's going to be great. I hope you guys are in, uh, enjoying yourselves. Uh, I, I, I'm really enjoying this game so far, and uh, I'm liking our team. Whoops, I did it twice. Hey, I finally, finally uh, spammed enough to actually heal twice by accident. <laughs> Great. <sighs> Been waiting for that moment to happen. But yeah, I uh, hope you're enjoying this uh, series so far. I'm having a ton of fun. I like my team so far. A lot of the nicknames are fun. Um, we're making our way through. We have, the freaking stickers are awesome. Just overall a fun time. Eh, we'll skip past it. Why not? And you. Why not? As well. Already have you. Um, are Shellos like random based on which of the two games you get? Are they like version specific? Which color it is, or is it like based on like natures or what is it? Do we know? Why is this one pink? Because I know there's also a blue version. And I'm not sure what the reasoning is. Okay, I'll talk to you. You think you can get through a turn of forest by yourself? N nope, I don't think so, actually. You seem to be tired rest of a while. Oh! We didn't even have to go back. Ah, whatever. Alright, whoops. No, no, I'm good. Thank you. I just rested, so we're fine. Grab this item. Ooh, a super potion. Helpful. It's not nearly as exciting as, like, a Master Ball just randomly on the ground, but I guess we can deal with that. Um, I'm going to take on these trainers and then heal up real quick, and then we'll continue on, because I want to get some more experience. Um, not that we really need it. I don't know. Oh, you have a Piplup, too? Well, that's fun. Um, Jason, you said, I don't know, sorry, I don't... <laughs> I forget what I asked. Oh, uh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at this whole screaming thing, aren't I? Um. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember what the heck I said. What the heck did I... What the heck did I ask? Oh my god. I'm gonna drive myself crazy now. Ah, whatever. Well, I'll remember eventually. It's fine. Or you'll tell me. Either way. <laughs> Pip up. Oh, the shellos thing. Right, 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 right. I remember now. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I have no idea either, so that's all right. 
Sorry, I forgot what I asked <laughs> by the time you responded. Oi. I'm glad that was gonna bother me forever if I did if I if I didn't remember. So I'm so glad that I I was able to remember. <sighs> Jeez. That's one of my one of my problems is I just don't pay enough attention. <laughs> It's definitely my problem in regular Pokemon, like or just in regular video games in general. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm just like constantly like not paying enough attention to like focus on any one thing for long enough. Always in my own world. Definitely can screw me over in, in video games at times. Um, Machop, let's go into Perp Raptor for this. I love the, I still love the uh, st stickers we did with, uh, with our different mods. It's just so much fun. Have it lowered it? Oh, it's speed. That's fine. Fuck. We're still fast. Goodbye. That's one of my favorite parts in any like Pokemon uh, soundtrack. Is that is that you know, in, in the battle theme uh, when you go into the like the timpani, it's just like and it's just so it's just so epic. It's great. I love it. I'd love to. I, I want to learn timpani just specifically to play that part in, in a Pokemon song. One of my, uh, my, my best friend growing up, um, actually played timpani in our band, so, uh, I, I remember our senior year of high school, um, when we were in our last concert, uh, we basically just, uh, we, I, I played the trombone, and, uh, he played timpani, and I just happened to be sitting right next to him, and in the last song, on, the, like, the last held note, it was supposed to be just as loud as possible, and I was a very loud trombone player, and he was a very loud timpani player, and we, it ended up being that, like, when he hit, like, one of his final hits, it actually took down one of the ceiling tiles in the, in the like, the, the cafeteria where we were playing our concert. It was absolutely nuts. Uh, but, yeah, it was, uh, I, I, I always liked the timpani. It was a, it's a great instrument. Many poison-type Pokemon make it turn a forest their home. But I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or go, do I go back? Who knows? Oh, hello. I forgot about you. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are... Okay, so your name's Ectric. I'm ser sincerely glad to meet you. Ectric, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there will be safety in numbers. Please, may I go with you? Well, you didn't really give me a choice, but yeah, I was going to say yes. Okay, thank you. Return of Forest. Nice. My Pokemon got poisoned, and now I can't battle. I knew I should have loaded up on antidotes at the Pokemart. Eh, we're fine. She's gonna heal me up. Also, poisoning doesn't even do damage in this game. Uh, in the overworld. Um, do we want a Silcoon? I guess we should catch it, right? Probably. Do they make all the characters left-handed in this game? That's, it's, like, really weird to me that they're just... I mean, I'll take it. I, I love to have some uh, lefty representation here, but it is kind of weird. Right, I'm gonna switch into Burb Raptorb to uh, take out the Bidoo. Also, should I maybe take out the Blissey so that it doesn't uh, attack our catch our Mon that we're trying to catch? Can I attack our team? Don't kill! Don't kill! All right, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna try and attack it, see if I can, even if I even can, but we'll see. It might, we might not be able to. At the very least, he's gonna harden, so it'll be less damage taken. I think disarming voice is a, uh, physical move. I think you can, in fact, attack the Chansey, so... I'm gonna take out the Badoo first. Then, maybe take out the Chansey? You've gotta be kidding me. Uh, every single freaking time. That's annoying. Poison point's annoying. Okay, mm actually, I don't think we have time to 
take out the Chansey, so let's just start chucking balls. Oh! Thank you! Glad I didn't attack you. <laughs> Alright, let's just chuck a ball. It's fine. Two. Oh, really? Okay, well, we'll have another shot one, Chansey. Oh. Okay. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. It's better. Build itself up. And I was already at full. Alright, well, now we have two chances to catch it. Before Chansey starts taking it out. Ugh. It shook twice last time, so we still have a shot. Nice. We got it. Silkoon. Alright. Start coming up with nicknames for Silkoon. Curious about what we should name this thing. I, I do think the eyebrows are very weird. It's very funny, but weird. Now this one evolves into... Beautyfly, I think? Cascoon goes into Deathstalk. I can never remember which one goes to which. Alright, well let me know what nickname you want to give it regardless. So we're going to name this thing Sheldon. Sheldon the Silcoon. Let's do two L's because it's got a shell though. Make a little, make it a little bit of a pun. Uh, we're gonna send it to this box. We don't need this in the box. Our, our team. Grab this item. Hey, they've been getting on and on about this whole uh, poisoning thing. Maybe we should uh, have some antidotes, and then they give us an antidote, even though we don't need it. All right, let's go to our Pokemon. We are fully healed up. Um, yeah, we're good. Just wanted to make sure uh, it wasn't in the wrong box. Um, actually, let's go. Let's put someone else up on the team for now. Um, let's grab one of these guys. Uh, oh, you're level one, huh? Hmm. Uh, let's let's put Aiden back on the team. Aiden's in the chat. We should put him back on the team for now. We'll take off Jerome for now. We'll put you there. And I would say this is probably the order we would want it in. Because we haven't had Mewtwo on the team yet. Alright, good stuff. Sheldon Silkmoon, yes. Hello, Aiden. Uh, I'm not sure if you uh, had it off or something like that. But I am back and we are all set to continue onward. Let's see. What is this? Moss. Oh, this is where you evolve Leafeon, isn't it? The mossy rock. That's a cut area. Head to here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> um, Silcoon and Badu again. Now ah, we could probably just run away, right? Also, we should put someone else other than Bone up front. Maybe. Actually, if we're going to be catching Mons, we might as well keep them up front. <sighs> Force double battles. Not a fan. Um, let's put Burbraptor up front for this because um, it's probably going to be a grass or a bug type in here. So flying either way will be super effective on it. Hello. What's cool, you might ask? No? I'll tell you anyway. Bug Pokemon! Yeah, it's super, super cool. I probably would have said Ice Pokemon, because, you know, they're cool, but, you know. Sure, Bug Pokemon. Hey, a Petrishu. Well, that's actually kind of super effective on us, but, eh. We'll just kill the Wormpole and then bail it, mess. Or we could just attack the Petrishu real quick. Hmm, oh, it's not very effective. Never mind, we'll just take down there. Well, that's just rude. Why would you do that? Oh, that's why. I get it. <laughs> why would you do that? I'm only going to try and kill your t teammate's Mon. That did nothing. Um, this is bug flying, I think, so it's going to be neutral. Eh, it'll still do good damage, though. Clark. I did more than I would have liked it to. And it paralyzed us. 
great. <sighs> oh, confused with me. Would have been useful before, but you know. Die already. Come on. Kill the frickin' beauty fly. Thank you. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into uh, Oscar P and uh, deal with uh, frickin' Pachirisu before taking on the last mon. Uh, Endeavor? What would I be replacing for that? Um, uh, not a huge fan of that, actually. So, yeah, we'll get rid of it. Dude, actually, that might have been useful. Or maybe I should have. Oh, well, whatever. Not important. Not important anymore. Okay. Um, so good. Um, actually, we can live another attack. Let's just kill the Silk Queen first. And then we'll switch into, uh, fucking Oscar P. <laughs> Punch yourself in the face, you piece of crap. Nice. Alright, and Pluck should kill. Goodbye. Alright, now we can switch into Oscar P and take down the Pachirisu. Much better. Pokemon. Alright, come on. I need to get used to using the uh, arrows instead because the analog stick is just. It's, it's very sensitive to left or right. So, like, even if I like do slightly down and to the. Like, mostly down but slightly to the right, it still goes right and down, which is annoying. So, arrows are better because it's only one or the other. There's much less wiggle room. Or much more wiggle room. If you consider it in that way, mud slap. All right, this thing should die. Maybe. I don't know if Oscar is gonna be strong. Enough. Let's see. Why does that do nothing? I guess mud slap's like 20 base power, but still. Yeah, it's t literally 20 base power. That makes sense. And it's... Oh, it's special. All, so... Double makes sense. 20, and it's our worst stat. Right, just freaking kill this freaking Patrick I'm so tired of freaking Patrick who's not dying to my super effective ground-type moves. Disarming voice is doing more. Water gun. Wait, are we? Oh, it's also not stab. Apparently, we're just water type right now. I'm just learning so many new things <laughs> about why Oscar P sucks at being a ground type right now. And probably the biggest of those reasons being he's not a ground type right now. <laughs> uh, stop attacking my freaking mon that I thought was a ground type that but isn't. Going down, Patrick. So just dial it. All right. Well, our team is still pretty weak on ground types right now, but I'm gonna keep Oscar P on the team because eventually it's gonna be a ground type and it's gonna be great. But maybe I'll replace Aiden with um, Mo Momoa for now. Although he does learn good water type. Um, special. Uh, now we're still neutral. Or equal with attack and special attack, so might as well give it a water pulse. Beautiful. And goodbye. Nice. Oh, you. Bugs me when people ignore the awesome coolness of bug Pokemon. Well, maybe you should have won then. Then I would have had to listen to you. No, talk to talk to the talk to the lady. My Pokemon is an excellent healer, but attacking isn't its strong point. Yeah, I got that. Oh! If you use the arrows, he walks around normally, and you have to hold down B to sprint. But if you use the analog stick, it's a... it's like a gradient. That makes sense. Makes a ton of sense. It's basically like Gen 6. Alright, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it now. 
Um, let's see. Um, let's let's put uh, Momoa on the team. We'll take a uh, Aiden off for now. Good. Oh, okay. I see. Quick. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah, we'll definitely do that from now on when we're trying to move around Amans. Okay. Our team is looking nice. Let's fight one at a time. I'd rather fight one at a time than double team. Psychic Elijah. Women. <laughs> Alright, Bird Raptorb is probably fine to handle this thing. Pluck is a strong move. We lowered its attack, not that the, it would be using attacking moves. Be special attacks, if anything, but regardless. It's dead. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter either way. Good. Alright. Hmm. And now... Um, let's put, um, Momoa up front, I guess. Why not? We can at least get some tr switch training in. Alright, Psychic Lindsay. Abraham. I don't know what Momoa has right now. Tackle and roll out. Um, let's go roll out. Energy ball. Oh, that's grass. Why do you have a freaking grass type move right now? <laughs> it's just like, ah, let me just throw in Momoa. Wait, energy ball. Isn't that a really strong grass type? Oh, God! <laughs> Jeez. Fine. Burb Raptor. Am I right? Alright. Just go away. Go away, Abra. That was very rude of you. I don't, didn't appreciate it whatsoever. Good. Good riddance. Although, if that... I don't... The only thing is, I don't know if Aiden would learn that move. Or if it was like, just... They just randomly gave it to this one Abra for no reason. Eh, we'll, we'll eventually see, I guess. Alright, and... Jeez, all of these double battles are annoying. Alright, let's take this one down, and then... We'll take the other one. It's easier to do them separately. Burmy. Right, definitely take that thing down with... Burb Raptor. Burb Raptor has become our ace right now. Mainly because we were using Amy before the first gym, and now we're facing against all these grass and bug types, and having a flying type is good for that. Good. It's a little bit of a problem just because most of our team is kind of weak to, uh, grass, and if we were to lose uh, Burb Raptor in like a gym battle, it'd be a bit of a problem, but for now, I think we're okay. He looks like the mayor of Whoville with that mustache. It's ridiculous. Or like, or no, he looks like the mayor from uh, Powerpuff Girls with that mustache. It's just, it's just like a... <laughs> it's just like a... Oh god, the, the Powerpuff Girls! I, help me! I need some help! I'm a Cricketune now! That was a terrible mayor's voice, but whatever. <laughs> Alright. Here comes the swarm. Yeah, good for you. Whatever you say. Right, three mons. Wormpole. Easy enough to start! Um, do we think this thing is going to have a grass-type move or a bug-type move that's going to do bad? Oh, Rollout is super effective. 
Since when? I guess rock is super effective on bug. It makes sense. Rocks do smush bugs. Makes complete sense. Oh, way to go, Benjamin. You know, I did say I wasn't going to have Benjamin on the team, and he's been on the team for a while now. Um, this is bug poison. So... Um... I guess Bird Raptor is probably our best option here, right? Alright. Good stuff. Alright, can let me know if uh, uh, you can't hear me. I'm just, I just shifted positions and all that. Move the mic a little closer. How's that? Ah. Nice. All right. Ooh, spark. Yes. Let's see. This is also sp oh, it's physical. That is perfect. Let's get rid of thundershock. Nice. Way to go, Amy. Okay. Casco. Let's switch to... Ah, uh, we'll just stay. I forgot that this game doesn't have, uh... Fire types in the, in, in the gen at all, really. So, we definitely need to, uh... Kind of just, uh, use our flying types for grass and bug types. Yeah, let's get rid of a uh, water gun for this. Look at us getting some better moves, some levels. This this is going well. We're doing well. It's a good time. Um hmm. Oh, you can use both triggers as a... Oh, jeez. Interesting indeed. Look, there's an item over here. Um... I'm just gonna keep searching around. Oh! Two silicones. <laughs> it's not much. That's just gonna lie. Good. Head up here. Oh, it's a little area to plant berries. Cute. Ah. Two wormples. Eh. Uh. Nah, I don't feel like catching wormples right now. Not worth it. It's a lot of effort. I'll go back when I when I can go to th turn it by myself. Ah, son of a gun! <gasps> Baneri, however, I will catch. Baneri will be a useful mod to have. Having some, having a good fighting type, definitely useful. So let's go. Um, we need to kill one. Let's kill the one on the right because it's weaker. It's currently just a normal type, so it does not matter. Let's just stay on it. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't matter, because I don't want to use Rollout and accidentally kill the first one and start killing the second one. So let's go... Let's just go straight to... Mm. Let's go with... No, nah, we'll go straight to Benjamin. I'd rather have the chance to try and start stopping uh, Chansey from taking out, out our Mons. The Mon that we want. Jason, welcome back! Glad to have you. I'm just uh, trying to catch this, the Veneri on the left right now. Because it is level 12. So start thinking up of nicknames. Alright, so absorb on the Veneri on the right. Maybe dull eyes. That's fine, honestly. Nicknames. We'll very likely have it doing less damage to our teammates. 
or to the to the, our future teammate rather. All right, so let's uh, stun spore this turn, the one that we want to catch. What? Fine, whatever. All right, that was a crit. Okay, makes sense. Um, stun spore again. Good. Paralyzed. Now let's take down the, the other one. Right, so that's going to do damage to both of them. I'm fine with that. Stop attacking me. Very rude. Alright, well we'll get some health back at least. Nice. And if it uses a disarming voice again, that should take out the one on the right. And we'll be able to get ourselves a uh, Pokeball throne. Yep, there we go. I am not going to risk killing the Baneri on the left by uh, trying to attack it and whittle it down more. Because if we attack it and then the Chansey attacks it also, we are definitely going to kill it, I feel. So, actually maybe not, but still, it's not worth the risk. Let's start trying to catch it. Two, three, come on, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. Yes, we got it. Let's go. But Neri, start thinking of nicknames. All right. Uh, yes, I would like to give Baneri a nickname. So let me know what nicknames you th you want to give this thing. It's a boy, boy bunny. Could name it Bugs. Barney, sure. Let's do Barney. Barney the Baneri. Uh, let's add it to the party. We'll swap out... Um, let's swap out Benjamin for a while. This item. One of the jar of honey. Neato. Alright, and... Let me uh, just... Make sure that everyone's in the correct spot in their boxes. Mm, he is not. Gotta put Benjamin... Um, we'll do, whoops, that, and here, here, and good, okay, there we go. But with that, we are going to finish the rest of the Eterna Forest in the next episode, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode, I had a lot of fun with it, and if you did, consider liking and subscribing, it really helps out the channel. And you'll be able to catch every single episode of not only this series, but every other series on the channel as they come out. But regardless, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.